to the airport. I woke up at 5.30 in the morning and was up really late last night trying to pack because I don't know how to pack for 105 degree weather in the desert. So that's why I'm dressed like, I don't know, a dad from the 90s. Anyway, we're gonna be leaving in a little bit. Duke and I made it through safely and uh, we have some reading material for the plane. I've got the newest issue of Transformation which you can purchase at centuriononline.com and we'll see you in just a little bit. Later. The only difference is that I don't know if it's my sweat on my face or if it's the water. So today, um, this is my last night in Arizona. I'm at the hotel right now. I go back to LA tomorrow. Um, I went to the Bad Dragon factory yesterday and it was really it was really really cool I, i've never seen anything like it they they took me on this tour so i actually got to see how the toys were made and i i really had no concept of what that was going to be like so to see everything from sort of uh how these ideas were sort of born and how you know they're they the company is very sort of um I don't know team oriented which was really neat to see especially for a company of that size i think they have like 70 something employees and i got to see all the all the steps that they took in order to get from just a concept to the final product um that that we all see as customers or consumers so that was really cool um i was there for basically half the day i wanted to tell bad dragon thank you so much for your hospitality i had a great time and um i'm really excited to share uh, more about your company and sort of um, what makes your company very unique with the readers of Transformation. I'll be working on this as soon as I get back uh, to LA and um, yeah it'll be in the, the upcoming issue of Transformation which comes out I think sometime in October. Uh, we'll post more information when I have it. Some thoughts about Arizona. Um, I was not prepared for the heat although I knew it was going to be hot. Just wanted to share my adventures. I was really excited to come out here and see Bad Dragon and sort of um, get to know them more. And I just want to say that TSA makes me so stressed out <laughs> that I feel like my butt is sweaty. <laughs> I'm ready to go home. Okay. So I'm finally at the gate. Um, I almost thought I was going to miss my flight because I lost my hat and left it in the rental car and I didn't want to leave without it. I was literally on the shuttle. I had to turn around and go back. Uh, the parking people were really awesome. The guy knew exactly where it was and he literally like <laughs> drove off so fast going to find it and, and came back with it. So I just want to say thank you to the Hertz parking people. That was awesome. I would have been really sad if I didn't have this hat. I had a really great time here. Um, I want to also give a shout out to, I don't have it with me, but I will take a picture to Buck Bomb. So I saw Buck Angel right before I um, before I came to Phoenix, and it's so dry here. This it like literally saved me. Oh. And here it is. It even has Buck on it. So it's a CBD bomb. Very very helpful. It's very dry here. Um, I put it on my mouth, so then I put my lips so it wouldn't get chapped. But also um, when it was really dry, I put it on my cuticles, and that was really helpful. So I'll put a link in the description. But just want to say thank you. Very, very helpful.
I am back from Arizona and I am tired. Yay! <laughs> I was gonna start the video and say how much my cat uh, missed me, but apparently that would not come through on camera. So, I'm back in California. I'm well rested. Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about my my sort of takeaways from Arizona. One, it was my first time in Arizona. I had never been there before. And two, I normally do research when I go to unfamiliar places. And I try to see how LGBTQ friendly it is, you know, just so I'm not sort of surprised or, or uncomfortable when I, when I go to a place. I like to be a little bit prepared. Um, whether it's sort of knowing a certain area or knowing which businesses are LGBTQ friendly or, or etc. I didn't do that this time actually. I let Bad Dragon do all of the planning for me. They kind of asked me a few questions about what I was looking for and what, what I wanted to do, but they took care of the rest. And I really appreciated that. Um, I was a little bit less stressed out because of that. And where they put me up was actually right across from the college in Tempe, which I don't remember what school it was. But I feel like I saw posters and there was like a a sun devil. Is that like a weird, is that a, a real thing? I don't know if I just made that up or maybe I walked into somewhere weird and I didn't know it, but I think it was a sun devil. And the area around there is really cool because there's a street called Noah Avenue and all of the restaurants and bars are sort of on that row. So everything is very walking accessible right by the hotel where I was staying at. And people working there were all really nice, all very friendly, um, were very quick to sort of offer recommendations on things because I had never been there before. I did get some weird looks from patrons, which nobody was aggressive, but I can kind of, I can, I feel when I'm like walking around. Um, nothing happened, just sort of a, a weirdness, but I also get that here in, Air in Orange County where I live. I do have a, a funny story about Arizona actually. I was looking for a coffee shop that was open kind of early and I saw a sign that had um, like coffee beans on like a bikini top and I, I don't remember what it was called like beans bikinis or bikini beans whatever it was I thought it was really funny so I just decided to go because it was open and I pull up because it's a, it's a drive through and the window opens and there are girls there with little like bikini like beans on coffee beans on their bikinis sorry even as I tell this story I'm getting like uncomfortably nervous so my cheeks are getting red imagine this at six o'clock in the morning so that's what I look like I'm so uncomfortable and embarrassed because I just didn't anticipate it that I apparently forgotten how to use the drive-thru so it's like a little small you know stand and you're supposed to order and then go around and then pick up I don't know what was going on with me and had forgotten what a drive through is and <laughs> I was so confused when I got to the other side. I think they all felt sorry for me. So um, thank you to the lovely workers there who were very kind to me even though I was very awkward. It was not my finest or coolest moment but definitely a highlight of my trip. Anyway, so yeah, that was my weird uh, awkward Arizona story. <laughs> um, if you are LGBTQ and you live in Arizona or maybe pass through the area a lot, I'd love it if you shared your recommendations with us. I'm not really sure where um, this video is going to be uploaded to, but if there's a comment function, I'd love it if you left us a comment. If not, you can hit me up on Twitter. My Twitter handle is CrystalPen, which I will put here if I figure out how to do that. Or you can hit us up on Groovy's Twitter, which is Groovy.com, which might be here if I figure that out. I don't know. Here and here, if I can do that. Um, I'd love to start a dialogue for this kind of stuff and share resources and that way more people can come together and hang out and feel safe. So I was pretty tired. I worked throughout most of the weekend and then on Monday I was back um, back doing my groovy stuff sort of in full steam because the next day, uh, Tuesday, we did something really big. We actually rebranded our flagship site, shemelyum.com, to groupygirls.com. I couldn't be prouder. I'm very, very happy about this. I worked on the press all day yesterday and I've been sort of um, uh, working on sort of miscellaneous things that are part of our, our rebrand. And uh, I'm really thankful for all the positive feedback that we've received. I did a cool interview with Steven Gruby that talks a little bit more about the, the switch over and why we did it and what's kind of ahead for Gruby. So please check that out at groovy.com. If I figure it out, there's a link maybe here or here. I don't know, maybe in the middle of my face. Not sure, 
but there'll be some some place where you can where you can take a look at it and see and we'd love to know your thoughts about it and now i'm gonna take a nap because i've worked for i don't know <laughs> like days upon days upon days i'm gonna have a nap and ice cream okay see you soon bye